Vivid Like Lisa here and today I will be starting off my daughter's bedroom makeover series. As you can see she's not really <laughs> one that keeps her room that neat. I mean it's not too bad I guess but yeah we're going to be doing a bit of a declutter and reorganize of her whole room and put up a bit more decor on her walls. I've got quite a few DIYs I've got in mind for her room as well. But today I thought we'd start by sorting out her wardrobe. So if I show you back here, don't mind my lights and tripod, I'll be setting them up in a minute. But this is her wardrobe. She's got like a three door wardrobe. So as you can see, she's got more than enough room for everything that she needs but it's just all untidy and it's not organized or anything like that so that's pretty much all we're going to do today is just get this wardrobe a little bit more tidy and a little bit more organized and she's got another single section there which is mainly where all her school stuff goes right now i would normally have her in here helping me but she, she doesn't enjoy this sort of work and she does a lot of work outside on the property so I'm not going to force her to do this sort of stuff when she doesn't enjoy it because she, she does more than her fair share. I'll do this for her today. She's probably just going to help me go through the clothes to see what clothes still fit and what don't and what we can get rid of. But as far as the rest of the organisation goes, I'm going to do that for her. So... I'll set the camera up and let's get started. well it's pretty much finished now this was a super quick declutter and and makeover on her wardrobe all the organization systems i already had in place it was just pretty much putting it all back where it belongs so up the top now we just have her bag that she uses when she goes on school camps and things like that and inside that is like a set of sheets a sleeping bag and toiletries bag so you know when she goes on camp it's all there we pretty much just need to pack her clothes and everything in it then next to that is a couple of throw blankets for her bed depending on what color scheme we're going with on the on the day um, we've just got them stacked up there and then she's got a few of her decorative pillows they, they were on a bed but I've just put them up there for now while we're just in the process of um, organizing and decorating her room so I've just left them all up there then for her main wardrobe the way I, I sort of changed it up a bit from when I first started so what I've done is put all of her fancier type tops and jumpsuit on this end because we I mean we don't go out a lot so I mean those don't get used as much and all the main stuff that she does use uh, on a regular basis I've just put all e easy accessible for her basically so We've got like singlet type tops, then I've got crop tops here and then she's got like regular t-shirts and then it goes into like collared shirts. These are all her work shirts for when she's working outside or with the horse. So they're all, that. There's what that's what she mostly wears 90% of the time along with a few flannel shirts as well she likes to wear. And then we've got a denim shirt here. Then we go into her jumpers, jumpers and hoodies. I don't think, uh, I think her hoodies are in the wash at the moment, but they're all her jumpers. And then in this section here are all her jackets. So she doesn't often wear jackets, so I put them, I mean, they're still easy to access, but all the stuff that she uses on a regular basis are pretty much put right front and center. And we've just, like I said, just arranged them in categories. 
Then at the bottom here, I've tucked away her guitar at the back there because she doesn't play it, but she doesn't want to get rid of it. So I've just tucked it up the back there where it's really out of the way. Then this little cubed shelving unit here, I purchased from Kmart. And for that, in that, we've got a couple of storage cubes at the bottom. So in the first one, we just have all her underwear. The second one are all her socks. The third one are like bras and swimsuits. And then the fourth one is pajamas. Then on the actual shelving part, her first section there are sort of more fancier jeans, so like more of a going out type jeans. Uh, the second slot there are more of her riding jeans, so when she's riding the horse. Then we've got there a spot for leggings and track pants, which I think there's a couple of pairs still in the wash. And then there we've got shorts. Then on top of this cube unit, I have three baskets, which were also from Kmart. And inside these baskets, we've just got one here that contains just all like caps and hats, not something that she uses regularly. Um, and then in these two here, I've just left the tops off because mainly they don't really fit, but I've got all her sheet sets in this one and all the Duna quilt covers in this one because all of her doona and sheets and all that sort of thing they're all plain colors like the i think the only one that's a pattern is the one that's on her bed at the moment but they're all plain so what we like to do is just mix, mix and match the color schemes so i just like to have all the sheets in one and then all the doonas in another and then we can just mix and match as we go so that's what's in those and then in this side of the cupboard again that's just where the jackets come through from the other side and then here we keep her school uniform and then at the back there her little jewelry jewelry stands there at the bottom here we've just got a little shoe rack that she keeps all her shoes on that uh, don't get used regularly so more of her you know fancier type shoes all the shoes that we use on a regular basis we keep out in the garage because we don't I don't like having shoes on in the house with the floorboard getting scratched so then up the top on this one all we have at the moment is those four boxes there the four colored boxes there her collectible Barbie dolls I think they were called teen trend dolls and then we've just got the box for the Wii sitting on top as well and then on her door here she just has a little hook stand that she puts all her belts and a few of her bags on. The only thing that needs to go in this space here is her school memorabilia box. I don't know if you've been following me for a little while now when I did my son's room. I actually did a video on his um, reorganizing his school memorabilia box so those two boxes once i've organized them and sorted them out they will go in that spot there so that's pretty much her wardrobe done and i like to do all of these sort of rooms in stages because i mean i, I don't know i get too overwhelmed when i have to do the whole lot all at once so i've just done this wardrobe part once i've come home from work and it only really took me half an hour to be honest so uh, that's a job done and this weekend we'll be tackling the rest of it it's not a big job because she like she doesn't have i mean she's got a lot of stuff but it's all i mean it's all pretty much where it needs to be we've just got to tidy it up a little bit and maybe get rid of a few things that she doesn't no longer want so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.